What's up guys, it's Eric from Rare Candy, and today we're back with another pack opening video. This time it's gonna be the new Tapu Coco pin collection. And uh, real quick, just wanna apologize. I know over the past week or so, video content has been a little bit light, but just been extremely busy in my personal life and uh, it's been hard to keep up with the amount of content I've been wanting to bring you guys, but I'm hoping uh, that won't be a problem in the future. So just a quick apology for that. But anyways, we got the Tapu Coco pin collection, like I said. And I actually didn't even know this was coming out. I saw, you know, the Tapu Coco box that come out previously, which we opened here on the channel as well. Uh, but yeah, it really caught me by surprise when I saw this thing. And actually, I think I like the promo in this one better. But yeah, it comes with a Tapu Coco promo and it looks like three Guardians Rising booster packs. So that should be cool. We also get a pin. Okay, yeah, so three booster packs, a pin, and a code card and promo. So similar to the... Uh, Mimikyu or the uh, like Zygarde boxes that came out similarly. Let's see. All right, guys. So looks like uh, like I said, three booster packs. We got one Steam Siege. Okay. And then two Guardians Rising. I thought it was all Guardians Rising, so my mistake. Of course, a code card to unlock the promo online. A Tapu Coco pin. You know, just like all the other ones that have been coming out. Looks very nice. And let me see if I can get this Tapu Coco promo out to show you guys. Ah, oh, man. There we go. All right. So yeah, this guy looks pretty cool, I think. Uh, the same card as the other promo has that flying flip attack, which has been getting some attention. 20 for, to each of your opponent's Pokemon, so that's kind of a, a decent attack. Free retreat just for a double colorless, so, uh, you know, decent card. So, happy to get that guy. We'll set them back, that one back there. And, of course, we have three booster packs here. Uh, pretty decent ones. I'm glad we're not getting any that are going to be rotated. Uh, and Steam Siege has some decent cards as well. I would prefer it all Guardians Rising, but there's still some good stuff in here we could potentially pull. Of course, there is the Full Art Sycamore. Could maybe get some Gardevoir stuff, Volcanian stuff. Let's see what we managed to get here. So we have a Sneasel, a Litleo, Nosepass, Chimchar, Meowth, Anorith, Howlucha, Duat, Reverse Hall Hydreigon, which is a rare, so that's kind of decent, I suppose, and a rare Bastiodon. So, none of the good stuff that was in Steam Siege. <laughs> but nevertheless, we still have two Guardians Rising packs, and if we're going to get an Ultra Rare or something cool, I'd rather be out of these packs than the Steam Siege packs. And I mean, we've opened up a ton of stuff from this set. Uh, we actually did an entire case opening. If you guys want to check that out, I'll be sure to put a link to that as well. But there's still actually a decent amount of cards I'm missing, mainly the secret rare and like rainbow rare stuff. So maybe could potentially get something that I need. So let's see, we have a Chansey, a Petalil, Trubbish, a Chop, a Lowen Geodude, Grass Energy, Weeping Bell, Watchog, Glalie. Reverse Hollow Choice, but ooh, that is a good reverse to get. Okay, okay, this box is already not so bad. And, oh nice, we got a Sylveon GX. Man, that's a killer pack right there. Hollow Choice Band and the Sylveon, oh my god. So yeah, this box is pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. So here we got Sylveon, of course, looks very, very nice. I have been a little disappointed this card hasn't been performing as well in major tournaments as uh, we expected, but Nevertheless, I'm happy to have it sit in my binder. Uh, definitely a pretty card and a playable one, even though it hasn't been dominating tournaments. So definitely an amazing pull to get. Stoked on that. And of course, the choice band as well. We're going to sit Sylveon back here there, Tapu Coco. And all right, so out of three packs, I don't know if we're going to get another Ultra Rare or not, but I will not turn it down if we do. But as far as like stuff I personally need, I think I definitely need Secret Rare Rare Candy. It's really ironic. Out of all of the, uh, the Secret Rare Trainers, that is actually the only one that I do not own, ironically. <laughs> so I would love to get one of those as well. 
And I think I'm also missing um, the Secret Rare Grass and Fighting Energy. I think those are the most notable ones I can think of off the top of my head. Anyways, here we have a Wimpod, a Gumi, Wishy Washy, Vanillite, Clefairy, Psychic Energy, Max Potion. That's a solid card. A Low and Graveler, Sudo, another decent uncommon. Oh, nice. Reverse Hollow Aqua Patch. Man, these packs have been killer with these Reverse Hollow Trainers. And all right, guys, last rare of the opening. What are we going to get? A rare Trevenant. Okay. So, you know, it's not a Hollow Rare or an EX, or I'm sorry, a GX or an Ultra Rare, but this is actually, I think, one of the more playable uh, rares that came out of this set. And I love Trevenant as a Pokemon, and this artwork is just so sweet. Such a cool card. Yeah, guys, um, I gotta say, we did pretty awesome out of these, you know, three packs. Uh, I mean, our Steam Teach pack was nothing to really brag about, but we still did amazing out of these Guardians Rising packs. We got uh, the Choice Band Sylveon pack and the Aqua Passion, the last one that I just mentioned. So, yeah, definitely for one box, I think we did pretty good. But, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely stick around. Uh, we have some more Guardians Rising openings planned as well. Uh, but as usual, feel free to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out our online store at rarecandytcg.com. If you can pick up something and help support the channel, it'd mean a lot to us. But with that, I appreciate you watching, and we'll see you for the next one.